Good morning, Wildcats. Mrs. Reardon here coming to you on a Friday for the Celebrate Friday. Um, you made it through another week, and I'm just so happy that all of you have been here and have been really showing the Wildcat way. So today, because um, this weekend is September 11th and um, a major part of our history um, happened on September 11th, I'm going to do a first chapter Friday. So I'm going to read the book, I Survived the Attacks of September 11th, 2001. And this year is the 20th anniversary of September 11th. So there's been a lot of things on the news and on Netflix and things like that, that I'm sure your parents may be watching and talking about. And I just wanted you to listen to the first chapter and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the book and then read the first chapter. So this book is, um, you know, really uh, through the eyes of Lucas, who's the main character. And um, it says the only thing that Lucas loves more than football is his dad's friend, Benny, a firefighter and former football star. He taught Lucas the game and helps him practice. So when Lucas's parents decide football is too dangerous and he needs to quit, Lucas has to talk to his biggest fan. On a whim, Lucas takes a train into the city instead of the bus to school. It is bright, beautiful day in New York. But just as Lucas arrives at the firehouse, everything changes and nothing will ever be the same again. So I'm going to read the first chapter. And I'd love for you to put yourself in Lucas's shoes as I'm reading and think about how you would feel if you saw this. Tuesday, September 11th, 2001, 8.46 a.m., New York City, New York. A bright blue sky stretched over New York City. It was the morning rush. Men and women hurried to work. Taxis, cars, and buses zoomed through the streets. And then there was the plane. Many people in Lower Manhattan heard it before they saw it, the screaming roar of the jet engines. The massive aircraft streaked through the sky, barely skimming over rooftops. Up and down the sidewalks, people froze. 11-year-old Lucas Colley wasn't supposed to be in Manhattan that day. His parents had no idea that he caught the train into the city that he was there on a crowded sidewalk looking up as it all began. Lucas watched, almost hypnotized, as the plane careened through the sky. He'd never seen a pl plane flying so low. It was cl so close he could read the letters on the tail, AA, American Airlines. Panic questions swirled through his mind. Was there something wrong with the plane? Was the pilot sick, lost, confused? Pull up, Lucas wanted to shout, go higher but the plane kept getting lower and faster. And now Lucas's heart stopped as he saw what was in the plane's path, the twin towers of the World Trade Center. The single, the silver and glass buildings, each a quarter mile tall, rose high above the New York City skyline. The plane sped up. No! With one last ferocious, ferocious roar, the jet plunged into the side of one of the towers. There was a thundering explosion. People all around Lucas screamed and then the bright blue sky filled with black smoke and fire. So if you wanna read a little bit more, you can get this book from the library. Mrs. Schultz brought it to me. And um, think about what you would feel if you were there watching this happen and you saw the plane go into the side of the building, how might you feel? Who would you feel for? Would you feel for the people who are watching? Would you feel for the people who may have been in the building? Um, also, you know, his dad's friend, Benny was a firefighter in New York. And so, you know, how might he be worried about Benny and, um, you know, what, what might have impact, how that might have impacted him as a firefighter in New York City. So I'm sure this weekend and throughout today in your classes, you may be talking about 9-11 and how that um, impacted us that day and also how it's impacted and informed us and, and um, what that's done to us with it being a part of our history. So if you have a minute, maybe share what you know or what, you know, how you think Lucas may have felt and what you might have thought it would feel like. Um, have some empathy and, and step into him as a character and, and talk about what that might have felt like. Also, have a great weekend and um, we will see you guys all on Monday. Bye bye.